is Feng from SQL Server Integration Service Team. In today's demo, I'm going to show you how to use Dataflow Task Source Assistant and Destination Assistant to quickly configure a component within SQL Server Integration Service Package. First of all, I'm going to introduce this SSI's new toolbox. It categorizes things into different types like favorite, common, containers, and other tasks. And the container contains the for loop for each loop sequence. And tasks is categorized to favorite, common, and other task three categories. And I'm going to draw data flow task to this. And to make my surface look bigger, I can put the toolbox to hide. And also, sometimes, I can close it too. To cl bring back a closed toolbox, you can use the toolbox button here. And it would quickly launch the toolbox for you. So let's work on this new created data flow task. To edit this data flow task, you can either switch to the data flow task tab here, or you can launch the editor through edit option in context menu. I'm going to bring back my toolbox for data flow component. In the favorite section, you will see we have source assistance and destination assistant. And I'm going to use both to show you how we can transfer data from one Excel source file to SQL Server destination. Let's use source assistance to create a source component. Let's pick Excel as category and create a new connection manager for it. You will see an arrow icon here to indicate a table from the Excel source need to be selected. So we pick a table from the list of the tables available in the file. And column is populated here. Once table is selected, Excel component is configured correctly. Now I'm going to show you using Destination Assistant to create a destination. This time I'm going to select SQL Server because we're going to move it to a SQL Server table and we're going to create a new connection manager for SQL Server. Let's click Select. Let's use localhost here with Windows Authentication and let's pick a table. Now I'm going to show the data coming from Excel to destination so I draw a path to connect them. Same here, same arrow here, because we haven't picked a table yet. So let's pick a table. Auto mapping happens. If the column names match each other, there is a line drawn between them to show this is the input and this is available destination column to store the data. Now this component is configured. When we go back to data flow task, you see we have no error at all. And it's ready to be executed. So let's try. An execution is executed successfully, completed. If you are curious to know what happens going through the path, to quickly debug the application, you can enable Data Viewer. I'm going to show you once Data Viewer is enabled, what the debug time experience would be like. So let's start debugging. Because we enable the Data Viewer, you're going to see the Data Viewer is displayed the data for us. You can see there are about 29 rows coming down to the destination from Excel source. You can copy the data to some place using the copy data feature, or you can detect the debug, and then the execution will complete, and the rows will be moved to the destination table. Once package is fully debugged and tested, you can easily remove the data viewer through context menu. Select the data viewer. Disable data view and 
package is completed. Okay, let's review what we have seen in this demo. We see the SSI's new toolbox, and we use the source assistance to create source adapter, and we also use destination assistant to create destination adapter. So this is the end of this demo. Thank you.